GrowTrack software we developed in uh, 20 years ago, basically, and it was de developed as a window-based program that was sort of clunky to use. Uh, computing has changed dramatically in the last three or four years, and it's because of the cloud and being able to store everything on the cloud and transport stuff back and forth. So we've completely redone GrowTrack now as a cloud-based program, and so I'd like to just go through and show you a little bit of what we're doing. This will now not be a software program. It will be a browser-based and an app-based program. So to get into the program, you put a, you open Chrome or whatever you're using as your browser, you go to a URL and you put in a username and a password. So there is no software to download if you want to look at it on the computer. But it also we have developed apps that are iOS or Android, so they'll go on an iPhone or they'll go on uh, an Android phone or they'll, they can be used on an iPad. And all of these data sync on the cloud. The difference also is when we had GrowTrack before, every farm's data stayed by itself. And so for us to do the data that I showed you was a mountain of work that I didn't do, that thanks <laughs> Eileen and crew, they had to gather it all up and download it into a uh, situation where I could analyze it. Now it's all in a big database and we can ask questions right away. We want this to be used more fully and because it's password based, we can give passwords to a lot of different people with different levels of permissions to see the data for a farm. Now obviously it's the farm's decision who they want to see the data, but the data can easily be viewed by the farm managers or by the owners. It can be used as a sales tool that can be at the sale if you want to use it, and it can be shared with your veterinarian. So if there's a foal in question, you can pull it up quick. The vet can pull it up and see the data right away. Uh, the the, the browser-based app, again, it will work on any kind of computer that you have. You just have to type in, have a web browser, and it shows a bunch of different parameters, uh, and including a lot of nice reports that I think you'll, you'll find uh, useful. So if you look at the screen here, this is just a screenshot of what the, the data would look like when you uh, open it, uh, this is kind of the dashboard. It's got all of the different farms, that uh, all of your foal crops. When we transfer these data from the old grow track, the 40,000 foals that we have in there, and we give it to the farms that have been using grow track and they open it for the first time, they're gonna see all their old data there. And so you're gonna see for every year that we had, there'll be the data from those individuals. And then you can look at the data in a bunch of different ways. This graph shows the growth rate of the foal next to the, the reference curve that we were talking about that we generated depending on whether it's a colt or a filly. Uh, there's a, a closer shot. Body weight, the height at withers. And so uh, on the axis, you can either do it as days of age or the month that it was taken. So you can see for seasonal effects. Body condition. We, in the program we do in Kentucky, they body condition all of the mares, lactating mares, and all of the foals, and that can tell you a heck of a lot. You gotta learn how to body condition, but this, for instance, shows the body condition of the foal over time, and this is the blue is the body condition of the mare. So if you're gonna have a lactating mare and a foal, you can body condition both at the same time and see how their body conditions are relative to one another. It gives the graph, I've showed you this before, this is that percentile data that we have for both height and weight for, uh, the, and it gives an average for all of the measurements that are taken within these weight ranges. It'll show the average daily gain of the foal relative to the reference uh, curve that we have for that foal as well. So you can see how is that foal growing re uh, relative to the rest of the horses. It gives all the tabular data as well, gives information if you have the mare's weight, it'll show the mare's weight and the foal's weight at the same time, which is useful. Like in, again, in this situation, this was an April foal, and you see the mare gained weight during lactation, which is really 
that shows how good the grass is where these were raised. And then there's just a lot of general information. One of the big differences here now is we've made it as a mobile app. And so this allows you to either view the data or enter new data on either a phone or an iPad. So you can take it out into the, 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 the farm, gather this information. So this is what an input screen looks like. You pull up the, the uh, year that you're wanting to add data <coughs> and you pull up the specific foal. And it's gonna give you a little information about the foal, including how old that foal is on the day that you're taking the measurement, which is really helpful in terms of understanding where you're at. In this case, it's a 344 day old foal. Um, it also allows, uh, it will show you the weight and height, body condition score for the previous weights you've done. So it's gonna give you that information so you've got an idea of how big was the foal the last time you weighed it. Uh, both uh, its average daily gain and the reference average daily gain. So how fast would foals of that age and gender have normally been growing and how fast did this one grow the last time? Then when you enter data, your new data, it automatically calculates the average daily gain based on the age of the foal then and it shows the reference average daily gain and we've got it flagging it if it's outside a certain range. And so if you have an odd average daily gain, it turns red. So right then you can look at it and go, wait a minute, this is the, this foal's either gaining a lot or not gaining as much, but it's while you have the foal still in front of you before you had to have the program crunch the numbers to know what the average daily gain was. A really cool feature of this also though is it has this icon at the top that allows you to take a photograph of the foal right then. So you've got your app out, you're way in the foal, it's in front of you, you tick that, your camera comes up on your phone or your iPad, you take a photo of the foal and it gets stored in that weight entry. So when you come back later, there'll be a little camera icon next to that weight so you can go back and see it. It can be a confirmation shot of the foal or it could be a joint that, was, that had an issue. You can photograph and it'll pin it at the time when it was actually taken. And so that makes the old program, you could add photos, but you had to take it off your phone and figure out how to transfer it to your computer. And this makes it real easy to do. It then will store libraries of this information. And we purposely made this to be similar to Equiline, if any of you use that for sales catalogs, certainly in the US, where you can keep those all as PDFs and you can go and look at them. There'll be a library for each weigh date for the entire farm, and there'll be a library for each horse. This can be, these libraries can be pulled up on your phone um, with, uh, just with a regular cell signal. And on those mobile reports, you can have reports like this report on the right that gives kind of all of that information in a summary page. And you also can pull up a photo gallery for that specific foal. So if you wanna see how that foal looked at a certain point in time, you can pull up that specific report or you can pull up all of the, the photos that you've taken for that specific foal. And if you tick on the picture, it blows up so that you can see how it looks. But this is so it's easy to get to grab these data from wherever you are on your phone so that you can understand how they're growing. This part of the program we're just about to launch. We're hoping in July, any of you that are using GrowTrack, the person from our staff, Shauna White in Kentucky, who's been working with the programmers, we're planning for her to come over, get with Polly, come and see each of you and make sure you're all set up with the correct types of apps for the right type of phone that you've got and that we can get it set up with whoever you want to have, um, view your data and, we, and what permissions you want to give about what data they can see. So this is coming soon uh, here. We're, we've got a phase two and a phase three coming. Phase two is so that you can build your own reference population. 
the reference curves that I showed you that have the 47,000 folds in it, that will still be used to tell you what percentile of the population. But if you want to have a reference curve for your farm to see, well, how, is, how are they growing relative to the, farm, the horses that we've raised before, we're working so you can create your own reference curve. Or we can have a reference curve for UK or Ireland or wherever. Those won't be calculating percentiles. The percentiles come from the big uh, database, but it'll allow you to look at them individually. The other thing it will allow you to do is to graph multiple horses at the same time. And so if you want to see how three or four different foals are growing and look at them together, or more interestingly, you want to see how the sibs of this foal for the last five years have grown, you can go into your old data, pull foals that were out of that mare before, or by the same stallion or whatever criteria you want, and show how all of that growth, how they're occurring. So that's the next step. And then finally, I think the bit that's going to be most useful is now that all of this is in one gigantic database, we can go in and we can do analysis on a monthly basis. And so those of you that are using this regularly, you'll receive a monthly report from us. And that monthly report's going to show the, the historic data for foals in the region where you live. And it's going to show it by month of birth and, and how fast they, how big they would have been and how fast they would be growing historically. Then it's going to take all the data from your region now and show how the foals are growing. So it's going to show if the foals are growing differently in June this year than they would have historically. And finally, it's going to compare to your own foals. And it's going to show it graphically, but also tabularly. So if your region is behind, it'll show a, a different color. Or if the region or if the foals, your individual foals, are ahead or behind what you would have thought was happening uh, regularly, it's going to tell you on a monthly basis. So it's going to give you that information in real time. And we're hoping that these type of data are going to allow you to make the management changes that we were talking about to hopefully head off some of these problems. So uh, if you're already using GrowTrack, we know who you are and we'll get around to you so we can get you swapped over to this. If you haven't used GrowTrack before, we would encourage that you do it. You should speak to Polly about how you can get on the program and start weighing. And hopefully we'll do this talk again in five years. And instead of me having a bunch of question marks about these things, we'll have some more answers that we can uh, give you to hopefully raise a better fold. So thank you very much.